I, I can't speculate to what his thinking was. Um, that is the, that's the million dollar question. You know, why, why did he do that? And, and uh, what he did uh, had no indicators in his past. Um, he had plenty of training to know better. He was trained in mental health crisis and crisis intervention. And uh, for all uh, our knowledge we had, he had handled these calls in the past. We had no complaints on him on use of force. We do not understand why he snapped. He acted outside the scope of his authority as a police officer, outside our policies and procedures, and outside the law. I'm gonna go get my kit. Now, if you head shot, dude, it's your, she's done. You can go get it, but that's a head shot. <clears throat> There was nothing in Grayson's background that could have led us to believe that he would commit this violent act. And we handle thousands of calls every year without incident. Um, we've had three officer-involved shootings in the last 24 years. And so uh, my, my message is that we're still the same sheriff's office. Uh, the person that did this is, is in jail. He's going to uh, face justice in the criminal justice system. God. Dude, I'm not saying it's boring a lot of his head. Hey, look. It's Right to our feet too. When people see uh, uh, somebody wearing the same, unif same uniform, you know, commit this violent act uh, that was against our policies and procedures and the law, they, they put themselves in his shoes and they cannot figure out how this happened. They work with him side by side um, every day, every shift. Uh, nothing was reported to us that there was a problem. Um, this was somebody that snapped. And I think when, when you have somebody that's a friend and a coworker that snaps like that, that couldn't have been predicted. It's not like you, could, you know, they could have come to us and said, you know, we think there's a problem here. It, you know, on on Friday night he was fine, and Saturday night he wasn't.